All right, 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 all right. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Um, That's really all I got. I don't know how to really like properly appreciate this because it's pretty wild, but just know I am very much. It's also really cool to see everyone going back to my old videos. My videos on average used to get 300 or 400 views through the first two weeks. So um, yeah, this is pretty wild. So this career simulation, as you could probably see in the title, is on J. Cole, J. Cole, Jermaine, Cole, the real is back the villa is back four bananas here peeled is back hey listen to 21 savage so i'm out 21 21 20 i'm like this is kind of catchy i guess <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm sorry. That's that's the most effort you're getting out of me. So uh, as we are like, you know, a day before the NBA draft, Cole is currently described as a deep range shot creator. He's the fourth ranked player in the draft class. He's six four because, you know, notoriously said uh, get exposed standing next to six four rappers. If you did not know from St. John's, which, by the way, common misconception, he didn't actually play basketball there. He's a primary shooting guard, secondary point guard. I mean, he is six four. That's like, you know, CJ McCollum. I think Bradley Beal height. Before I show you anything further, um, let's see where the hell is going to get drafted with the first pick in the draft the detroit pistons select anthony edwards with the second pick the atlanta hawks select jermaine cole to the hawks to say that jermaine cole is a shoot first shoot second player would be an understatement wow okay his ability to get off a shot is second to none okay that sounds like a very good career he was two picks away from this place called charlotte you know he's not too far from uh, north carolina it actually fits in very well with this team so he's an 81 overall now look you might be like click what the hell are you doing j cole is not an 81 overall well as you can probably tell by the fact that uh i've done a bunch of career sims on youtubers and now a rapper no none of these guys would be in the nba in the first place except for maybe christopher london but in order to put them in the nba we have to make them good and well what i did is i based this j cole off those uh runs that we saw him at the um i forgot the gym's name but the chris brickley gym you know and well uh this man was firing shots and he was hitting shots and he actually seems like a really good basketball player actually 89 overall three-point shot we're hoping he could become one of the best sharp shooters of uh probably all time i guess and then he's kind of just solid everywhere else i mean he's a good defender tell me j cole does not look like a you know i mean a fundamental defender oh yeah of course he could dunk too because well uh he got close enough in that dennis but jr play should also probably mention that um this is obviously 22 year old j cole now why does he look like old j cole still or well semi old 34 year old j cole actually 35 because i thought it just looked funny if he had the old school j cole look i mean in fairness is that guy joel or joel berry from unc that looks exactly like how this cole player looks and javon carter is already rocking the baldy in like his second year in the league so so I, I don't think it's really a bad thing that he looks kind of old. He's got a Hall of Fame catch. Wait, really? I gave him Hall of Fame catch and shoot? What the hell? Space creator, off ball pass, pickpocket. You get the drill. Season number one. Oh yeah, I gotta show his jump shot too. That'd probably be a good idea. Here's his jump shot. I thought it looked pretty realistic. I'll put like a standstill picture of it up on the screen. Honestly, this was one of the harder ones to do, but I still think I got it down pretty, pretty well. He's starting at the two with 35 minutes a game. And his age is 22 because that's when he dropped the come up, which if you don't know and you're uncultured, is his first mixtape. Can we get an all-star team first year no but that never happens hey Giannis. well they didn't win rookie of the year i don't know why i'm just aimlessly scrolling through this all nba first team like there's nothing here to look at okay he made the old rookie first team is a little bit low on him okay yeah they were right he definitely shoots at will and he definitely makes shots at will as well i mean he shot 43 percent from three in his first year but we did miss the player oh wait no we didn't what the hell i i kind of just subconsciously thought that you know i mean 37 wins would maybe mean miss the playoffs but i guess not we traded clint capella for al horford really first round against the sixers who just had the coach of the year brett brown all right you know what 32 isn't that bad even if we lose this next one all right cool we went down 4-2 in the first year but we probably shouldn't have made the playoffs anyways he shot the exact same percentage from three and field goal and averaged 21 points in the playoffs so well, that's pretty good and the six is a pretty good at defense too shout out to the celtics for getting their 87th ring quincy ac retired we drafted a 63 overall ross early he's an 82 overall great trade for al horford guys he's only re regressing at a very increased rate for some reason he's only playing 29 minutes again this season but sure why not all stars second year no not just yet i don't know why he's not really averaging any rebounds there isn't really a tendency for that Giannis went to the spurs and there goes bowl bowl for the 87th time straight and you know like consecutive videos malik monk was finally becoming good and then got suspended but the nba got suspended too so no one really realized shout out to trey paul george is on the knicks because why the hell not i apologize to everyone who hated me because i didn't know who josh christopher was no i don't follow everybody imaginable on instagram we traded emmanuel moody for davis bird it sounds like a pretty good deal but uh i probably 
probably would have rather kept Chris Boucher. Oh, of course, you got Kelly Owenick. We don't need Chris Boucher. I just remembered Al Horford was on the Hawks. I don't know why it took me so long to like put two and two together. You know, like back in his day. Cole played pretty, pretty well. It's a good progression here, number one. But uh, we won 32 games, which uh, doesn't equal play. I'll shout out to Ben Simmons. CJ Miles retired. Well, we got the eighth pick. Um, I guess we drafted Bronny and Shakira O'Neal. Well then. Yeah, Bronny, you're moving to the small forward, my guy. Uh, your pops played there for a little while, you know? I'm not trying to have you end J. Cole's career. Which, by the way, is what I should have done in the Jesser career instead of making six foot three Jesser a small forward, but I'm just smart, you know? I'm, I'm incredibly intelligent. So I did the opposite. Well, J. Cole is an 84 overall. He's 24 years old. He's a two-way scoring machine going into year number three. He's playing 35 minutes a game. Oh, Bronny's not even starting? Cool, great. And Shakir's in the reserves. I guess DeAndre Hunter is kind of good. This is going to be the first time I ever do this type of corny thing, but uh, who the hell is your favorite rapper? Let me know. I want to see all these comments, all right? Or give me a list. Give me a top five. Do whatever the hell you want. I can't control you. Speaking of not being able to control you, if you like the video and you like my channel and all that stuff, you can like the video to uh, help out the channel. But if you haven't never seen my videos before, you can wait until the end of the video to see if you actually like my content and then like the video because I can't control you. Hey, Kevin. Wait, does he say hey, Kevin or hi, Kevin? SpongeBob, you know? References. Um, Cole is not an all-star yet, still. His numbers are uh, pretty swell, though. Yes, that's right. I just said swell. I was about to say something, then I forgot. That's always the best feeling. I saw people finding it funny how fast I talk from time to time, but maybe it's because I'm from New York. I think it's just like, you know, a natural thing that happens when you're from here. Well, yes, it's definitely because. Not a maybe. Luca. Bowl Bowl, six man of the year still. Yusuf Nurkic made the All-NBA third team, because why the hell not? Still no Cole. And we missed the playoffs again. I thought this team was going to be a lot better. Well, maybe not anymore, but when we had Capella, you know? I mean, it's actually, it's it's still really good. We have like 26, 80 overalls. Cole's numbers were good. They kind of dropped off a little bit. Well, Kyrie won another championship with this team called Brooklyn. Sean Livingston retired. I guess four head coaches just retired. Who the hell is this guy? Eighth pick again. That's cool. Wayne. An 86 overall going to year number four. James Nunnally is here. This man was notoriously the worst player in a 2K a couple years back. I'm feeling an all-star this year. Okay, fine. Maybe not. So yeah, by the way, this is his last year on his rookie contract. So um, a lot of weird stuff can happen this offseason. Or he just resigns. Luca. I can't do that every time. I gotta find a variety of something. Lonzo Ball, six man of the year with the Knicks. Still no All-NBA anything. And we missed the playoffs again, actually. 19 a game. Now, granted, Bronny took a lot of those touches probably, so it's cool. Well, the Mavs won a ring. Luca. Leangelo Ball retired. And he's back on a four-year, $133 million deal. He probably deserves it. He's 26 years old, going into season number five. And maybe we can get past the first round or into the playoffs in general this year. 20,000, though? Oh, that means I got, like, at least 18,000, probably 19, like, actual, you know, active subscribers right now. Because, I mean, you all came within the last week. That's, uh, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty good. Still no all-star, but it's cool. It's fine. You know, it's a pretty elite bunch, including Nikola Vucevic, who actually isn't that bad. I can't disrespect him like that. But, like, I don't feel bad disrespecting the really, really good players, because, like, they're really, really good players. But, like, Vucevic, like, you know, he's got to get his props when he can, you know? Because, like, there's got to be at least 70% of people in this world that think that Mo Bamba should be starting just because of the song. We can't disrespect Vucevic like that. He goes to Giannis guy again, although he's DPOI now. Clifford Strong. And guess what? We missed the playoffs again. I don't know how the hell this keeps happening. We have three guys who are 89 plus, two guys 85, and then just a bunch more 80. So I don't know why we keep missing the playoffs. We even traded for Wesley I won do. Cole's numbers were cool. I guess his touches are just kind of going down and down. He averaged a lot more rebounds. I guess he finally realized how to just jump. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm sorry. Imagine he retired. Just for me to say it again. Marcus Morris found his way to the Spurs eventually, even though he dubbed them. Ron Baker retired. Wait, Russell retired and the Thunder did not retire his jersey. That's just, wow. We need an F in the chat for Russell Westbrook's self-esteem. Jermaine Cole, 89 overall, 27 years old, going to year number six. Yeah, I don't know how this team isn't making the playoffs. We even have Wayne starting now. What is that supposed to mean? I have no clue. Ah, yes, the All-Star Captains again, our favorite time of the year. And he didn't make it again. Now, granted, there's a lot of scoring options in this team, so I don't really hold him accountable for it. Finally, we're over 500, though. I was about to say, if we're still losing, then I might hold him accountable for it. Hopefully, he didn't get traded. Oh, they signed Aaron Gordon to a minimum deal. Sure, why not? Oh my god. Luca, stop. Bronny won six man of the year. I mean, I guess that's a good role for him. He can have the ball more. Hey, it's my 2K14 my player. I'll mention this guy every time I see him. Cole still has not made anything, but we're the sixth seed, which, wait, we're the sixth seed with 51 wins? All right, sure, East, go ahead. He's third in scoring now on the team, but I mean, you do have LeBron James' son here, you know. It's probably the ideal role I'd see Cole in, you know. And we just 4-0 swept the heat. Sure, why not? Up against Detroit. Now, why are they the second seed? Oh, wait, they have Anthony Edwards. I just remembered. And we just swept the Pistons, too. Why not? The Knicks are pretty good, but I think we're better, you know? So, Eastern Conference Finals, and we're in the NBA Finals after, what, 18 straight years of not making the playoffs? Wiseman, Curry, DeJounte, Wiggins, Pirtle, 73 overall, Draymond Green, and Mai Oni. Well, uh, NBA Finals, and we lost the first game. Cole tried to carry, and shot 3 for 11 from 3 in the 
process, which isn't that bad considering that John Starks once shot 0 for 11 in a game seven. Second game in ATO, and we won. See, now look, we need that brownie support, you know. There we go. Now, can we, uh, you know, win another one this time in uh, San Fran, right? That's where they're at now. And we won another one. Cole playing his very Cole role. Oh man, we just blew this one. In the no, no, that did not just happen. But we scored like eight straight points in like 12 seconds. All right, let let's watch us get a stop, hopefully. Wow, that was stupid. Okay, we won. Come on, Cole. Hooray. We won. We're up three to one against the Warriors. This could potentially be the game where, you know, we bring home a championship to Atlanta. Well, Trey Young just choked. Come on. D don't let DeJounte Murray hit a three. Oh, no. We need a shot here. They just wait. Did Trey Young foul out? Yeah, Trey Young fouled out. So uh, Cole's playing point guard now. Cole. Jermaine. Jermaine to the basket. Jermaine. Yo. Yo. This is a beautiful screenshot. Now, I wish I could use this in a thumbnail, but like, I don't know. It's going to look kind of ugly. All right, Bronny. Look, we don't care. J. Cole made the game winner, potentially. Curry in the corner. No, they let Curry go to the rack wide open. Oh, boy. We need another shot. Can we let Cole get the free throws? Okay, sure. Give it to Bronny. Why not? His dad really wasn't the greatest at this. So hopefully, he's better. Okay, Bronny made both. Cool. If they hit a three, I'm going to cry. Cole! Jermaine! Jermaine Clutch! Give him a new last name! Oh my god. You don't make the playoffs every single year. You're in the NBA Finals. Trey Young gets fouled out. You sub in at point guard and you win it for the team on both ends of the floor. We did it! We brought a championship to Atlanta. Trey Young is going through the floor. What the living what in the living hell is this? And they're just going, okay, yep, I I see where we're going. What the hell? Jermaine Cole, the clutch is player in the game i'm i gotta put that in the title the clutchest player of all time jermaine Co trey's not even in the picture j cole 14 points on four for nine shooting those 14 were definitely worth it because uh, a lot of them came at the end there brownie got the finals mvp but you know you know that j cole had to get a ring give that man a cool 21.6 rebounds and four assists a game in the playoffs on 42 from downtown and 56 from the field back to our regularly scheduled program daniel house retired chris paul went back to the clippers for some reason 90 overall going to your number seven um is Bronny not here anymore oh my god we somehow let lebron james jr go to the pistons after his rookie contract and he was our nba finals mvp oh cole you better get ready we need some more from you this season big dog because i don't know what the hell just happened i mean the team is still good regardless but um okay this is this is going to be a big change of, change of events here you know when you lose a lebron james bloodline member um yeah you kind of become a little bit worse it could be like four-year-old zuri for all the hell i care to probably still be at least the sixth best player on your team. Cole, I said you needed to step up. Can we get an all-star appearance? Oh, God. Bronny got his first. And Cole is in here. Wait, no, we didn't just do that. We got Tobias Harris and J. Cole on, on the same team. We just broke the whole theory. We traded DeAndre Hunter for Tobias Harris. Honestly, that's pretty stupid. Sitting that he's 34 and DeAndre Hunter is really good at defense. But all right. We have 34 wins. So, I mean, I guess it can't be that bad. Oh, my God. Bro really won MVP. And most. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess he should win most improved. Considering that he was off the bench last year. And this guy still won coach of the year even though the Cavs fired him or they like quote unquote reassigned him or whatever yeah no Atlanta Hawks on any of these all NBA anything but we won 52 games which is the fourth seed and we were actually lower than that this last year I think we we're the sixth seed right oh my god Cole and Tobias would average the same exact points per game but his numbers were cool his shooting percentage was good as always first round against Chicago who have Cade Cunningham and Kuninga I think this guy's name is actually Kuminga regardless uh, it's probably some sort of like censored word in 2k well we're in the second round now 42 we won against the Bulls oh my god we're playing Bronny who had the first seed no we just blew a three to one one loss two loss three loss we blew three straight games to clinch the series and of course Bronny dropped 42 and 11 in the last one jesus cole's numbers were cool in the playoffs actually his shooting percentages are kind of down but they're still good regardless i guess well uh that's how that's gonna end and the pistons didn't win the finals it was the tyrese halliburton led thunder shout out to sean kemp danilo gallinari retired d rose didn't make the hall of fame at least 80 percent of nba fans are out there fuming right now oh neither did clay thompson i guess of course we have to pick up the team option for lyle going to year number eight he's going to be 30 years old in january 28th because you know he has a song named january 28th it's kind of how it works it's his birthday you know he was an older rookie it's like he spent four years of college which he actually did so that kind of makes sense but we're going into year number eight which i might have already said but whatever 91 overall ronnie probably left because we left him off the bench honestly at least we still have shakir o'neal who looks nothing like shakir o'neal cole is still not an all-star but Bronny is as a starter at least trey's an all-star whatever oh cole only has 
one more uh, no, Manny's a player option. And I guess we traded for Lori Markinen. Wait, we traded John Collins for Lori Markinen. We traded for Lori Markinen, signed Rory Hachimura somehow when we're 28 and 30. So that's a great look. Probably we have no defense based off those two trades. Well, James Wiseman got an MVP. Lawrence Hamilton. Alex Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Still no all NBA anything, but uh, we made the uh, wait, what? We won 45 games and missed the playoffs. Oh, of course. We were one game back of the Pistons. Well, the Nuggets were in a ring led by oh god. Well, let's not talk about it. John Wall retired. Now I know a lot of you love when I only shout out retired players that are irrelevant, but um, that's kind of what John Wall's become considering that he's been injured for 14 years. And he plays on the Wizards. Because you know, everyone still remembered Derrick Rose for the 18 years he was injured. That John Wall Isaiah Thomas playoff series was so much fun though. We're going into year number nine. He's a 92 overall. Oh, he also re-signed on a five-year deal because he I guess he declined his player option and just re-signed instead. So we're gonna be in Atlanta for the long haul. J. Cole is still not an all-star, but Darius Garland is because why not? Luca Rose drop Jack. Alex and Giannis got these two awards on lock. Still no Cole. Eros, Sheldon, Stewart, Stewart, and Austin. We're the eighth seed with 40 wins, which is five less than we won last year, but uh, logic. No, not the biracial one, like the literal word. And we lost four to one to the Bulls in the first round. How great. Who was even on the Bulls? Cade Cunningham, Kuninga. Right, right, got it. Yeah, it's censored. That's why I guess the guy couldn't put Kuminga. Well, we lost in the first round, and the Bulls won the championship. Cole's numbers were cool in the regular season, now at the playoffs. Eh, he fell off a little bit, but they were still cool. Durant, Harden, Butler, Cousins, Kawhi, Damian. Oh, Evan Fournier retired. He is 31 years old, going to year number 10. He's starting to regress, actually, because, you know, old. Imagine I did a career sim with J. Cole at 35 years old, and he just played, like, one season and dipped. Will he ever be an all-star? Nope. He definitely had the potential to be an all-star, but I don't know what happened, honestly. He's still taking the most shots on the team. Amani Bates, my boy. I really hope he doesn't become a buzz because I've been repping this kid for, like, the past seven years. Yeah, no, still no all-NBA teams, and, uh, oh, rather the fifth seed with 41 wins, because I guess everybody had 41 wins. Well, first round against Philly. We're up 3-2. Three 3-3. To three to three. Oh, God, it's a game seven. Oh, boy, we just outscored them 36-18 to in the fourth quarter. Yep, that gives us a W. Cole, thank you very much. He ended up leading the team in scoring in the regular season, by the way. Second round against Chicago. Chicago, the reigning champions, I think. And uh, they gave us a reigning, reigning champion type of beatdown. 4-1. to one. Cole's numbers were cool. Basically, his whole career has just been cool. Except for that, you know, one finals with that, you know, he won a championship in. William Floyd, finals MVP. He averaged 34.5 points per game in 34.5 minutes per game. Talk about efficiency. Warriors gave a contract to Ben McAmore over Draymond Green. Oh my god, he's a 55? He was literally a top five lowest rated player in the league. This, this, this guy needs to call it quits. Oh, never mind. He's in his rookie year. Well, actually, maybe not. Going to year number 11 now. He actually didn't really regressed at all this season. I miss Bronny. We have Noah Vonley at starting center. That that's definitely good. Should have never traded Capella for Al Horford, for God's sake. The all-star captains. Oh, yes. Looks like uh, we're not going to get Cole, ever. But hey, Colin Sexton made the all-star team. Wiseman's back as MVP. Kyrie's actually sitting in Brooklyn for all these years. Stewart. And we're the seventh seed somehow with 39 wins. We have a 46-year-old cold Montrez Harrell at starting center. Give that guy a coat. And we lost 4-2. Cole tried. Spurs got a ring. I think that's Giannis is first. Rashawn Holmes retired. Every head coach retired. Oh, Nate McMillan was our coach? Didn't even know. Wonder who our new coach is. Nick Nurse. Hey, that's pretty good. That was gonna be wildly disappointed, but that works. 91 overall, going down a little bit, going to year number 12. And he was on the last year of his contract, I think, unless he has a player option. Oh, yeah, he does. Chad Westbrook's an all-star. Of course, Russell's son. Young Long Lee. And we missed the playoffs by, um, how many? Get five games. Oh, wait, Young Long Lee's on our team. Oh, I guess we had the rookie of the year. The Hornets won a ring. J. Cole somewhere fuming. Well, and excited at the same time because, you know, North Carolina. And we lost Tobias Harris. Look at how many less games MB played. Even Trey Young's regressing now. Actually, I would have thought he would regress earlier. Never mind. Cole's earlier somehow. Well, yeah, because he was 22 when he came to the league. Why am I still talking? Year number 13. Ah, yes. Our front court of jo Jock Dupin and Terry Chase. Our only center on the team is a 67 overall. Oh, and this guy is 66. He's not going to make an all star team. Willard Webb. And we're actually the fifth seed with 46 wins. Season numbers were solid. Our up against Chicago won a lot, of, a lot of championships back in the day. We're up three to two, and we we just went to the second round. The eight seed, the Raptors just beat the Wizards, so I would assume they have some momentum here, you know. Well, we're in Game Seven. We won in Game Seven. We're going on to the Conference Finals, and J Cole is clutch as always. Jesus, the Pacers. We're down three to one, and we almost just forced them to blow through one lead, but we lost in Game Seven. We lost by twenty points too. Oh, they have Mikey Williams, of course. He actually hasn't won an MVP yet, I don't believe. Well, the Kings just came back.
back from a 3-0 deficit to win the championship. Shout out to Theo. Cole put up very Cole numbers in the playoffs. Bobby Portis retired. And now they're both regressing. Oh, and I never realized that Cole re-signed. I mean, I guess I technically did, but I didn't actually mention it. Well, he has three years left in his deal. And he's gonna be 38 when he's off of it. So, um, who knows if he'll even be in the league or like a good player anymore. But we're going into year number 14. Ah, yes. Josh Cardinal, starting center. Just love to see Bronny, eight-time all-star. Could have maybe used that. Bronny won another MVP. And while he did that, um, we kind of didn't make the playoffs because, uh, you know, 34 wins isn't really that. It's actually kind of 10 games out. Cole's been averaging the same numbers for about 12 years now, but he's still a two-way scoring machine, although, uh, you know, didn't make the playoffs. Jim Nicholson. Wouldn't expect a six foot nine Shaq to be on the Spurs. But of course, the Spurs would draft the guy that dominant right after losing Giannis. In one of my recent videos, I taught all of you that uh, Trey Lyles did get traded for Donovan Mitchell. For some reason, a lot of people didn't know that. Yes, that's exactly what the Nuggets did in that draft. Chandler Hutchinson retired, and he's an 87 overall. His biggest drop off ever going to year number 15 we couldn't even hold on to that rookie of the year guy for more than one year well i guess we held on to shakira all these years but i mean it's not like that really matters you know it's been a long road when luke is off the bench in the all-star game wow chad westbrook won an mvp what the hell Ime udoka and we missed the playoffs with 41 wins somehow look we get it cole you average these numbers every single year cole doesn't even start anymore yeah he only started for 21 games this season anthony edwards went to the nuggets won a finals mvp mo wagner retired oh my god if i would have just said mo wagner Wagner retired and uh you know stopped there i would have never seen this jermaine cole has retired from the nba after 15 years pro at 37 years old he retires with 19.2 points per game about four assists four boards 1.5 steals 49 from the field 45 from downtown and 90 from the line he had 28 double doubles zero triple doubles he still had a pretty solid set of badges even at retirement he had a career high of 45 points made nine threes in a game 13 rebounds 13 assists seven steals five block he finishes 80th all-time in total points which is above bowl bowl so that's been a success in itself with 23,618 and he finished 36 all-time in three pointers made with almost 3.5 thousand he had the 32nd most steals ever 1,800 and he shot 45 percent from three from his career so that would put him ninth in all-time three-point percentage and his free throw percentage of 90 puts him around 22 he was a one-time nba champion and one time first team or rookie that's all his accomplishments and as we officially retire him will he make the hall of fame no obviously he's not gonna make the hall of fame because he didn't make an all-star team once despite his really solid career um you know you gotta have a couple more accolades than just a championship but when it comes to the jersey retirements can he get a retire with the atl hawks and uh yeah number one is retired which is a pretty common number so that's enough of an impact good enough for me so that is gonna do it honestly that one nba finals appearance for the team where we got to witness him clutching it out for him was a uh, pretty worthwhile but all no, it is a little bit disappointing that he didn't, you know, do a little bit better and maybe even make a run at the Hall of Fame. So I gave him some pretty good attributes and some pretty good potential. But this is where we end off. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. Let me know who you want to see next. Let me know what you want to see next because it can be anything. Rebuilds, any type of My League video, any type of video in general. And I'm out of here. Cut.